Welcome back to Sunrise Daily, coming to you live from our Abuja studio. Uh, I have with me Mr. Laulu Akande, who is the Senior Special Assistant to the Vice President on Media and Publicity, to discuss the Trader Money Initiative and other matters arising in the nation. You're welcome to the program, sir. Thank you for having me. Well, you know, there's been uh, a diverse uh, set of reactions to uh, the, the initial rollout of the Trader Money Initiative. Some people are saying that it's just mere politics being played out ahead of the Ocean State governorship election in some weeks, and, and others are saying that this is, you know, uh, essentially an altruistic move to get, uh, you know, the, the, the grassroots uh, commercial entrepreneurs uh, to get more engaged in their business activities. What are your thoughts? Well, thank you, Ajuri. Uh, clearly, the, the dominant set of reactions, are, you know, the, the testimonials that we, that we get and continue to get from the beneficiaries, uh, the petty traders who are really excited and who have seen the, the possibility of their businesses uh, becoming transformed, who are uh, getting into the financial uh, infrastructure, you know, who, who, who are now receiving 10,000 Naira uh, for, for, for the enlargement of their, of their, of their businesses. I, I think the more important reaction are those coming from them, their excitement, their gladness, how it is inspiring them uh, to, to take care of themselves, take care of their business, take care of their children. I think that is the more dominant uh, set of reactions. Every other thing, you know, I think uh, must come after the fact that people, uh, the petty traders, are being impacted, being impacted significantly and being impacted in such a way that even helps, you know, us to bring people out of poverty and to enlarge, you know, prosperity in our country. Before we get into kind of the nitty-gritty of how the initiative works, uh, let me just ask you directly, uh, is there no political calculation or gamesmanship behind the fact that this was rolled out first in Ocean State ahead of this governorship election. Can you just address that directly for me? Well, so that, that would not be accurate. Uh, specifically talking about trade and money, uh, I think Ocean State is probably the fifth state where uh, we did the launch. We've done, it, it's been launched in Lagos, it's been launched in Kano, it's been launched in Abia. I know it's going to be launched in Kogi, it's been launched in Castina. You know, uh, and, and secondly, the Trader Money Initiative itself is part of our microcredit scheme that we started along with the other social investment programs about three years ago. You know, uh, what we just found out is that the petty traders who are on the bottom of the ladder are excluded from the microcredit scheme that we were doing, uh, which was between 50,000 to 100,000. Uh, people who carry their wares on their head, you know, who are mobile traders, you know, the, 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 those ones that are really, really at the bottom of the, of the ladder, we found out that they couldn't get in into the previous microcredit program. And that's why we designed the, 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 the trader money for the pet traders. And we intend to do uh, two million of them uh, before the end of the year. So it has nothing to do uh, with some of those considerations. The important thing to the Buhari administration is how do we help to lift out uh, lift up Nigerians, you know, uh, this is a government, clearly, that Nigerians know now is a government for the common man, uh, and this is, the, this, this is the whole determination. And don't forget that the, 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 the entire social investment program, which this is one of, uh, started about three years ago. Mm. How, how is it weighted exactly? You know, obviously, uh, it's known now that in Ocean State it was 30,000 beneficiaries, but we know that obviously populations and the scale of economic activities differ state by state. Yeah. So, for example, in a place like Kanu State with a high rate of population, high rate of commercial activity, how, how, how does the Trader Money Initiative, uh, you know, calibrate, as it were, in some of these states? Yeah, so, so uh, the, the, the plan is to have... Uh, a minimum of 30,000 beneficiaries in each of the 36 states uh, and, and the FCT. But like you said, very rightly, in places like Kano and Lagos and a few other states where uh, you know, the, the population is much uh, uh, larger, uh, we intend to go uh, more than 30,000. For instance, we could go as much as 50,000 in, in Lagos and in Kano. And even from the enumeration, you could see that you are going to enumerate more petty traders in those, big, uh, in those bigger cities. So, yes, uh, uh, the minimum is 30,000. You know, we hope that we go through the whole country, 30,000 in each of the states. Uh, but in places where you have more traders, you know, like Kano, like Lagos, it will, be more than, it will be more than that. And we will take care of the fact that you have a larger population in those states. Is there, is there a, 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 you said the basement is 30,000, but yes. is, is there a ceiling? Is there a maximum uh, at which you say, well, this is enough for this state. We have to spread it more evenly across the country. Well, we, we, we will see how it goes. Uh, uh, once we are able to say that each state must get a minimum of 30, 
a thousand, you know, so that takes care of the fact that we have a proportionate and fairly represented uh, uh, rollout in each of the states across the country. Uh, but our, our target for this first set of rollout is to reach two million Nigerians. Uh, you know, so certainly we will, we will see how the figures go uh, from state to state. And, and the important thing is to reach our people, two million of them, by the end of this year, by the grace of God. I, I, I listened very carefully as uh, Vice President Yemi Oshibajo mentioned uh, that, two, that the, the two million uh, petty traders is just phase one. Yeah. Is there any indication now as to what, uh, of course, I know that you're focused on implementing phase one, but as you get into, say, phase two, would that two million potentially escalate into a higher figure? Well, the, 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 the plan is that so. so. Uh, we want to give uh, uh, about 2 million of the traders uh, 10,000 uh, to start off. And then within six months, uh, when they return the 10,000, which is collateral free, interest free, they get 15,000. You know, uh, and then at that point, you know, we, they, they have, an, they, they have an, a bank account and they can begin to expand uh, their, their, their business. So uh, in, in terms of how this works, you know, to the next phase, we, we're going to follow through. It's, it's not going to be a one-stop or one-off kind of uh, initiative. Like all of our other programs, we, 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 we develop it as we go. But, but now we want to focus on the first 10,000 to go to 2 million people. And then when they return it in six months, uh, they get 15,000. And then we take it from there, uh, step, uh, step forward and step ahead. Okay, how much have you uh, have you know the the kind of the oversight functionaries over this project, uh, you know, factored in the the role of demography in all of this? Because we know that uh, women, for example, are disproportionately uh, you know say disadvantaged rather uh, when it comes to some of these issues, access to credit, etc. Can you give us a sense of whether or not the program has envisaged? Uh, some of the disadvantaged groups in the country? Well, I mean, I, I, as, as I have seen in the places where uh, this program has been launched, quite a lot of women uh, are, are among the beneficiaries. I've seen, I, I can say very easily that in, in most of the cases, you have women. Women are the ones that are, uh, you know, normally involved in some of these activities. Of course, we have men too. But the point I'm trying to make is that, yeah, of course, by the, by, by the reality and the nature of petty trading, you know, I think quite a, a significant number of the beneficiaries will have to be women who, you know, ordinarily are the ones that are also very uh, often involved in some of these uh, uh, trading activities. So, yes, uh, we, 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 we uh, reflect that demographic reality on the ground uh, to, to address uh, the need of, of, of women.